Welcome to the family. This is the family jewels. As always, I am Drew. This is my crazy uncle Don joining us from whatever planet he's from. Clearly, I don't know. No, it's just a dance I fell in love with tonight. Uh, uh, So today we are doing Megan. We went to the theaters. This guy dragged me to the theaters. Damn right I did. I have kids, so I don't get to the theaters much. And Don was uber excited for this movie. Couple more years. They're going to be coming with us. Well, it is. It is called the Family Jewel. So one of these days, I'd like to get the family, Jewels the rest of the family there, involved. Yeah, yeah. I don't want your life. I loved my horror movies as a kid, and I remember going to going to see them with my mom, and yeah, you know, sure. she knew I loved them. So, like I said, and I'm not nine that years... I'm not that fucked up. I don't think. Well. <laughs> I mean, I watched Friday the 13th original on HBO when I was like nine. That explains a lot. All right, so All right, I mean, yeah. as I said, we're doing Megan. And I always forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know why we want you to hit the bell or why Don wants you to hit the bell? It's just so you get notified when a new video like this comes out. Yeah, if you like us. If you love us. I mean, we have, if, God, how many thousands of subscribers? <laughs> There's Yo, millions of people watching. We're rolling this. in subscribers. Yes. Ah, it's not a liquid. So if we've earned your like and subscribe by the end of this video, please do it. It helps us. So if you if we earned your respect. If we've earned it, please like do it. We've always we've said this before in videos too. We're gonna act goofy, we're gonna act fun. We're gonna sit around like we're just hanging out at work. Having a beer, or well, you don't drink beer at work, but we're gonna sit there and we're gonna talk bullshit. Yeah. I don't remember any of it. I was so fucked up. I might be gay. I don't know. Hey, do you mind covering for me for a bit? I might go lay down in the john. Alrighty, so let's get into it. So Megan did come out this year, and it is a new year, 2023. We are in now. It is rated PG-13. Uh, it is an hour and 42 minutes long. Uh, it is currently only in theaters. It is distributed by Universal, so I imagine that it will be streaming on Peacock in the near future. Uh, it has a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, really? 94%? 94%. I, I don't know anything in my world or my life that is 94%. Currently. It did come out... No, literally, take the past 10 years. Yeah. Uh, 94%. What are... Eating, eating. Eating is 94%. Okay, anyway. Uh, It is directed by Gerard Johnstone. Uh, This is his feature film directorial debut. Uh, So because of that, I'm just going to go to the screen play writer because they have more experience. Uh, Her name is Akila Cooper. Uh, She did write Hellfest. Yes. Good um, movie. She also did uh, Malignant. She came out last year. Uh, and then she's also did the upcoming Nun 2. So it does star uh, Allison Howell Williams. Uh, she was in Get Out. She played yeah. the, the girlfriend. Yeah. Um, it stars newcomer Violet McGraw. She's done Black Widow. She played the young Yelena in that movie. Um, and it also stars newcomer Amy Donald as Megan. The plot follows uh, Gemma. Uh, She's a robotics engineer at a toy company that helped create a popular AI toy. Gemma is working on on her next big idea and creates an AI doll named Megan. When Megan becomes attached to Gemma's orphan niece, Katie, Megan develops self-awareness and becomes hostile to anyone who comes between her and Katie. It's like having a good guard dog. Like a dog that would... Drive your car, shoot out the window. Later, dink. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Go ahead. Uh, I had to say that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fun facts? I'm ready for fun facts. I love fun facts. Oh my God, I love fun facts. So the song uh, that Megan has seen playing on the piano in the movie is actually a song called Toy Soldiers which is a 1988 hit, which is also the same year as the original Child's Play. Child's Play? Oh, we're getting into something deep now. It ain't the size that counts, asshole. Um, So yeah, let's just get into it. 
Uh, well, uh, so you're, I'm going to make you go. Positive, positive negatives. Yeah, I'm going to uh, make you go first. Damn. <sighs> positives. Are you flipping? Megan is perfect as a robotic android AI doll. Yeah. I wish I was Italian. That's a spicy meatball. That yeah. is my biggest positive. I think they did. They just they just did what they did, and so you like yeah. the doll. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I just I like how she. I, that was my biggest positive. If it wasn't for well, think about it. If it wasn't for Megan, the so, movie would suck. So you're saying It'd if be they a Chucky movie, if they made her look like a robot, that wouldn't have worked. No. If they made her look like a doll, Chucky, Chucky, that would not work. have worked. What are you fucking nuts? <laughs> Okay. They, they 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 almost kind of went to an aspect of the realism of the, the doll. Realism, well, just the way they did it, the aspect of what the doll was about. Okay. You know, AI, AI, and intelligence, and you know, just just learning. If they said, "Hey, we have this robotic AI doll that needs to learn something," bring her over to the house, drop her off. She will she will take over the world when I get done educating her my way. A uh, single guy that lives alone. Do you want this robotic doll all to yourself? Yeah, at least it's a robotic doll. I mean, <laughs> I my... just that's what made that was my positive. The doll yeah. was just uh, just. Everything. Fair enough. Um, my positive, I would say, um, is Amy Donald's performance as Megan. I thought she did really good. Um, the the mixed practical effects that they used with her with the CGI, I thought was done really well. There wasn't, I mean, there was maybe one time I could tell this there's a CGI and not maybe her, uh, but otherwise, I thought it was done well. Um, they put a face over a real person. Yeah, and made it look like a robot to. A to a lot of the point. And it was a good idea instead of, you know, like how Chucky, you know, back in the day when Chucky needed to run and they would just have a small so person or a child yeah. do it. So at least this way, they chose to use a, a, a kid that's bigger that matches up. You know, It's like so. Orphan. Same idea. You got a 23-year-old playing an 11-year-old. Yeah. yeah. Right. Good job. All right. Um, beyond that, though, I really don't think she's creepy either. No. I mean, they tried to make her so lifelike and beautiful that she doesn't come across that way. She comes, she, she comes across more as badass. Yeah. Than anything. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not scary. Uh, I. Oh no, it's um, a. I would. We were talking about that. Uh, yeah. I would call it a a, a, a sci-fi, sci-fi thriller. Thriller. Yeah. Sci-fi thriller. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's it not not really... a horror. It's not scary. And has badass. Oh, yeah, that is just. That is just, oh my gosh. Yeah. Just for that, that robotic freaking I can do. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Um, conflicted for me was um, Allison Howell Williams' character. She's the aunt. Her performance is a little flat to me. I don't know what it was. I like uh, her. She's likable. But as far as her performance, I didn't feel like there was much emotion when it came to her. Like that was her sister. Yeah, that was her sister over. taking over. Yeah. So her performance was a little. Yeah. But she was a workaholic. Yeah. She, you know what she does? She she basically has Megan. Uh, she designed Megan. That's kind of not really a big yeah, secret. I get you. I get you. So she's a workaholic, know. and all of a sudden this kid's thrown in her lap, and she's like, uh, "Do you want some yeah. hot water?" Yeah. Oh, wait, there's supposed to be cocoa and marshmallows in there. Sorry, and I sorry. and I one hundred percent agree with you. But it's just like even when she finds out about her sister dying. Yeah, well, you know, there's no. It was it's just, they made that one scene really quick. Yeah. It was you know, go to the hospital, something happens, and but even it's there, like, but, wow. but there's even times where she's like delivering serious lines, and she has this half cocked smile all the time, and I don't know, I'm there's just <laughs> there's just something about her performance. Like I said, she is likable. Just I don't know something about her performance. That's she, why it's a conflicted for me. Basically, I think what you're thinking is that they should have put, they should have given her more personality. Yeah. And made her a little more excitable. Yeah. No, you said it. Per, you said it perfect right there. So yeah. I'll okay. leave it at that. Yeah. You said it good. Um, so, do you have any conflicted or? 
And as far as something that would would have ruined it for me, blah, 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 I hate that word. Ruined. Uh, ruined. No, ruined. No. <laughs> Say ruined. 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 Dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. Um, honestly, it was a little long. Right, An hour and forty minutes. It's not a little. It's not a little Goonies yeah, yeah, or a little, a little Star goonies. Wars. Yeah, a little Star. Yeah. It's a little Goonies. It's a little Goonies. There's something that's a little Goonies about it. <laughs> Just a little Goonies. It's a little Star Wars. It's a little Star Wars. Um, mm, we're gonna keep this clean. It was just too long, and it got slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast. Last half hour. Let's just blow your mind. Let's just boom. No, you could have done better in the beginning again. Surprisingly, it, being an only an hour and forty two minutes long, it felt like it was still probably fifteen minutes too long. Okay, well, in my so, mind, yeah, yeah, I hundred yeah. percent agree with you. Okay. So negatives uh, for me, it didn't do anything different that we haven't seen already. I mean, there was so many things. Um, I mean, if you're going to stick with plot devices and story elements that we've seen, it better pack a punch. And it just didn't feel like it had that punch. I don't need blood and gore. But again, if you're going to keep the, the the film story kind of generic, like like this movie with things that we've seen that's a great word for it then at least make it bloody and gory and crazy kills and but they don't so it's kind of like okay it's like an interesting idea but where's either where's the bloody gore or where's the something different with this idea they took they took something they really ran with it a little bit more i don't think they did enough i mean there's so many things it could have been so much well like i said slow Fun. What did we say about bullet train? Fight, fight, fight kill, joke is fight, what you fight, said. Kill, yeah, fight, fight, kill, joke. <laughs> fight, fight, kill, joke. This one was explain, explain, explain. Explain, explain, explain. Explain, explain, explain. And here's something fight, that fight, fight, you fight. want to make. Here's something that makes you want to say, okay, I really want to keep watching the movie. If I was a helium balloon, it's like I almost lost it. Bink, and grabbed it by the end of the stream. <laughs> I know your secret. It just, just caught it, and I was like, I okay, know. I'll stay. But no, okay, I got you. I don't know. It's just from the very beginning, they do a thing with the story that you have seen a million times. I mean, there was just so many things where I was like, well, I bet you that they're, that's going to come back into play. Yeah, like, I just, butt, yeah. uh, do you have any negatives? Like I said, I, I really do not. Um, I don't know why this just popped in my head. I will go back. I stand corrected. In the very beginning, back to a positive, they do a fake commercial, and it was amazing. Okay, thank you. That should have been my I, I, that should have been my biggest positive. Was that fake commercial? Was, was just, uh, yeah, the I song? Buy one. The mm. song in it was it was had, hilarious. It had Amazon buy on. It even had buy on Amazon, buy on Google. Oh yeah, to, buy, check it out download Google, the app to download Apple. App. Yeah. Okay. That right. is my biggest part. I want to see that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to no, see that no, toy. No, 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 no. It does lead you into what the movie's about. Oh, that it's a great lead in, and I was lead you and I was super excited. And yeah. then we just started getting barfed on with all the stuff that we've seen. Well, and then I was like, like you love the charm scene. of that commercial wore off real quick. All right, really quick. Yeah. I want to see that movie, though, that commercial for that toy. Uh, that would be horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, I, I, this is a movie you can do. Uh, one of my favorite ideas of a movie. Shut my brain off. It's not kinda, a horror movie. It's you're not a, you're kind of getting there, so then yeah. you're going into that aspect. What's your, what, what's your jewel then, jewel okay, rating? Okay, my jewel rating, uh, I love a movie. I can shut my brain off. You all should know this. Yeah. And if you don't, just keep watching. We all do. You'll see. I we love to do. shut my brain off, and I'm entertained. I don't have to think about it. Remember, remember, I can nitpick a movie to pieces for every little thing. That flashlight wasn't there. That light on the street was turned on five seconds ago, two scenes ago. I don't do that. I just don't do that. I'm not going to do that to you. This movie, I shut my brain off and I, I, I give it a five. 
just flat out, flat out. I don't only want to buy it on DVD. I'm going to get two copies just in case I break one. <laughs> or scratch right. one, you know. Sure. All right, here we go. Fair enough. Uh, uh, I say end it out before we end it out. So <laughs> bye, guys. Hey, AJ already gave his review. You, yeah. His jewels. You didn't hear that. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, to, to each their own, man. Different movies click with different people. Yeah. I'm not going to brag on you for that. It, you liked it. You liked it. I, again, saw an opportunity for something different, something more. Didn't feel like it hit it. Um, so I'd give it a two. Wow. Um, wow. I, wow. I feel like that's wow. being generous. So two is a rental. Don't go see it in theaters for me. Wait till it comes out on Redbox or uh, Voodoo and you can rent it. All right. This is not the... Uh, <laughs> Honest, jewel- no. no honestly, uh, I mean, I didn't even really want to see it in theaters because I had an inkling. I did have to drag him out, but he had an inkling. I had an, an inkling, inkling. Is that, that something was... that happens at the bottom of your foot? <laughs> yeah. It's like, how oh, am I have an inkling in my foot? I can't walk today. I have an inkling in my foot stinks. <laughs> it's a genetic condition! <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Two? Uh, two, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, I, wouldn't, okay, yeah. I wouldn't buy it in any form. I'd watch it again if it was free with ads somewhere. If... if, if if, um, if, 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 are you? Oh, you're. Oh. I will say this. I read this thing that the director said in an interview that they had toned down the kills to make it PG 13, and he kind of alluded to a director's cut with more bloody gore. So I think maybe showing those kills more. Yeah. yeah I yeah. want to see that cut, and then maybe just, maybe I'll change my rating. But you say you don't need blood and gore to make it. I don't, movie, but, but yeah, if you're not going to give me some new crazy exciting new idea of a movie there, robot killer doll then at least make it bloody and gory I, as hell I, that's I, what i'm I saying cannot, yeah okay or to put it another way take it take an take an 80 pound load and put it in a three pound condom okay, okay. i got you i got you I mean, if those kill yeah. scenes if they would have let him go further with those kill scenes it would have been rated r yeah but, i'm fine with the mm-hmm. kills if they had given me a, a wild story like, oh, just something no. different. So, that's where I'm at. Like I said, if they do come out with this director's cut and there's there's more of those kills, remember, th- then then I'll watch that and maybe my rating would change. But, remember how I used to say, you know, I love doing this? You're freaking making it hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said? <laughs> no, honestly, I, I wish we sing a freaking what's-her-name song. Opposite the track. Uh, okay, I, don't I don't know that song. Cut that out. <laughs> Oh no, I'm leaving that in there. Oh hell no. Two steps forward, two steps back. Oh, we come together. Um, so I always give recommendations for other other films at the end. Of course, Chucky, Child's Play, but I wouldn't say the old ones, I would say the new one, the remake, Child's Play, because they changed it. And it's a uh, robotic animatronic doll, Which not a possessed doll. Yeah. yeah, it kind of blends in. Um, the other thing I would maybe say, there was an aspect in the movie that kind of made me think this could have easily been an action movie too. So if this movie leaves you wanting an action, if you get an action vibe from it, my other recommendation would be Small Soldiers. It's an older one. Uh, it's where the, the little toy soldiers come to come life. life. And- It'd be interesting... I'm not giving a spoiler because it didn't happen, but if they walked into a store like Walmart and some weird guy grabs a hold of the daughter and Megan just snaps and holds him in place, that uh, would be, you know, little things like that yeah. being added would have been great. Great, yeah, yeah. But, okay. Um, so if... if what? Nope. Nope. Jeans, buy me a coat. Oh, snap, man, we're still saying the same thing. This is amazing. Carrots. Pumpernickel, glow stick. Doing the robot. That's my best robot. Man, that shoulder hurts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I give my only aspect of a good yeah. movie to watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want something that gives you the aspect of AI and everything else and makes you go, oh my God. You know what I'm talking about. I know, but don't say it. <laughs> no, you gotta, you got to say it. I want Why you don't to I say, say it. it. I robot? Yes, I robot. Yeah. I robot. I, you I'm, can watch iRobot in this or this, and then iRobot, and to me, that's what really blends. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit. Just for the I was AI. going. I was yeah. going for yeah. You're going for the AI. I was going for more of the toys yeah, coys to life. And all that. But no, iRobot would be my only 
connection. And uh, he usually does the connections. I don't know why I'm doing this more. Well, go ahead. Uh, I like it. I like it. I, I dig I, it. Oh my gosh. I like where I like seeing the connections in Don's brain. My precious. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, she's my girlfriend, not yours. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm good. I've said my piece. End it out. I'm, I'm ready to end it out. Are you ready to end it out? All right. Oh my gosh. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. As dangling. always. Jangling. 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 Oh, Hit the bell. Jangling. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos. I'll throw some links up. Yeah. Hopefully we earned your like and subscribe. So a little respect report. We will see you guys next time. Peace.